Okay, my name is Rafael Vasquez, and here is my partner, Oli King. Uh, my expertise is basically on uh, urban planning and architecture, so I deal with a lot of buildings in New York City. And the idea of my app, I think I'm going to have to start the slides here. The, the idea of my app is actually to uh, integrate uh, geozoning data into the zoning regulations when somebody wants to build any building in the city. So uh, as we know, you know, the fertile soil is, is very important and is de degrading in the world tremendously. Uh, almost 30% of the land that we use for food supplies is being lost in the last years. And uh, there is not a methodology to, uh, uh, for sustainable land management around the world. Uh, as I said, it's about 30% of the land is being lost. This represents about $300 billion a year in, in loss. And also, uh, grassland uh, is lost, and uh, that affects uh, climate change tremendously. And pr primarily the reason wh why this happened is be because when somebody wants to build a building or a mega structure anywhere in the world, they don't take in consideration any of the ecological factors. They basically look on a, a you know, who is around or what, what transportation areas are around. And depending on that, they allow people to build different ratios. So with, with my solution, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to take data from uh, uh, satellites, uh, uh, land satellites and water satellites and integrate that into the zoning regulations of, of w what they use uh, in the present. And uh, here is an example of how using a, a satellite data from a water and land satellites, you can build a a chart and you can build a table of how is your land being utilized in a specific region or a specific area of the planet. Uh, also uh, here I, I'm showing that this is uh, possible now because uh, the number of satellites are increasing and it's getting cheaper. It, it used to be tremendously expensive to do that. Now it's, it's a little cheaper, more affordable. And also here, I'm showing how uh, by uh, providing a, a new framework, uh, city planning people, they don't necessarily only uh, take in consideration uh, what people are building, but also the ecological aspects of the area, you know, how water, how the forest, how the ag agriculture areas are affected. And then by, by using Python, and, uh, we build this uh, visualization tool to show how rapidly we degrading Earth. And this is what geosoning is. It's basically a tool for people to uh, have some inform better information about how to be more sustainable and to protect the forest and the agricultural land in the, on, on the planet. Um, I don't know if you did any research on me, but my wife has an architecture degree and worked for a major zoning uh, or a major planning firm for a while. So this is something that's like super passionate for me. Um, I, I love it. I, I think it's awesome. I think zoning is something that's often um, done in an antiquated manner and could use some pretty substantial update. It's also very burdensome for city planners. So anything to reduce that burden is great. Um, I would love to see, and I don't know if this is even a realistic expectation within the realm of this weekend, but I would love to see maybe in the future look at, um, you know, if there was some kind of sliding scale for the sustainability of the building versus the uh, environmental impact of building in that space. I think um, that would be a substantial reduction in the burden on the regulator. Um, I don't know if that's built in now or if that's maybe a future aspect, but I, just something to consider. Yes, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much. That was a great, great topic and a great, great presentation. Um, could you repeat your names again? Rafael. Rafael and Olifemi. Olifemi. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I was just curious, how how would you think about conveying this information to the decision makers? Like, what would your what would your ideas be in terms of would you would you want them to go to a website to access this data? Are you thinking about, you know, people come to you, or would it be more 
just a website where people can you know input a location and, and, and figure the information out on their own. Okay, well, until Friday, I didn't know how to do it. Actually, you were my inspiration. Huh? Me? Uh, yeah, Who? because you, you did a presentation <laughs> where you show <laughs> how to use data to measure the temperature yeah. and the yeah. uh, you know, humidity and all these aspects. Right. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. Maybe uh, th that would be the only way to do it in New York City. Oh. It's actually you will have to lobby the community boards, sure. uh, city council, and explain to them uh, that they don't need to only take in consideration the environmental impact assessment, but also the ecological aspect of the area. Sure. Like, for example, now, now we're going to be like a huge uh, area on the east side, and they, you know, the, the same thing, they always take in consideration how many people live in the area, uh, how many trains are in the area, but they don't take in consideration the, the ecological conditions of the, of the river or, or the parks around. So yeah. that's basically what I will. No, that's a great, yeah. great idea to use like maps and, and yes. tools like that to share the information. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's sure. great. Mm -hmm. so just, just to clarify, so you, you do not envision this being like a, like a, tool, a planning tool, like an interface that they, they would go into and they can, they can plan out where they want to, you know, there's certain projects are going to be or a government agency can, can plan out access that they can you know they can auction off to, to builders and that sort of thing yeah like okay a, something to help with like a five something to help uh with like a five-year ten-year master plan for yeah, cities so yeah, I, yeah the question the question is, is essentially like you know what what do you envision the interaction being like and the product as a matter of fact it's a good, good question i'm going to be participating on a, a meeting with the american planning society next week okay and uh, they actually interested on this tool cool. um, so yeah definitely the problem is that in, in this country you have to scale from to, to from the bottom to yeah, yeah, yeah. up you cannot go to, to the yeah. top you know you have to go from bottom to the top and that's cool. what i'm planning to do cool. uh, my just my question real quick is just uh can you briefly describe the tech stack or any um like what what's your interactions with any of nasa data or anything like that uh, I'm sorry, Mike. Can you repeat the question? Um, just like what what you code it in, or what you what, what did you start kind of working in technically? Like, what's the tech stack? Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to use Python because uh, it has very good statistical analysis libraries, and also the geospatial uh, aspects of the application. It will make it a little easy for me. Uh, I'm planning to uh, use Postgres as uh, as a mapping system. Is is uh, I already use QIS. It's called. So I'm, I'm planning to use that as well, and then uh, uh, maybe build my own uh, hosting s service, or put it on Heroku, but I'm more like interested in building my own hosting system. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.